fam, they got political blood. I done my Achilles. I try to do that whole starting jump thing, and I think I would. Um, the guy said that I'm too explosive. You get me saying that I'm too explosive to do this kind of sport because it just literally popped fam out of nowhere, blood. I couldn't believe it. Like it felt like someone shot me in the back of my leg. First, at first, I thought someone kicked me and tripped me up like for a little like banter, joke thing, but I knew something was wrong because I could just feel it in the back of my leg, like you know, you when you know your body. I knew something had popped, man. So I mean, did you get to go through any of the NFL drills or just that one, that one yard? You got one yard. One yard. All I got is one yard, fam. I come here for one yard. I even did the reps with the, with, with, with uh, my Achilles broke up because at the time we never knew what was happening, innit? But then obviously the physios come over and she's done a, she's done a test and whatnot. And she said that yeah, it's ripped. I might need surgery and. Oh. See, I mean, that, that gets you through the front doors. You disabled and everything now. So yeah, you know, I mean, because I know when I did mine, my deal was I learned to appreciate. Yeah. You know, because you got you try to get in doors, parking spaces, exactly. so many other things. Exactly. So you get the venture started. Yeah, because it makes you it makes you grateful that you actually have the capability of walking on your two feet, you understand? Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be difficult for me now. But the, the hardest bit will probably be going to like football matches because mm -hmm. obviously the the stairs and whatnot. It's gonna be difficult for me, man. But it was a great event to come oh, to yeah. anyway, like I met a couple of men, that's the main thing. Like mm -hmm. I took part in one drill. I'm sad, I'm glad like I'm not I'm a bit unhappy I didn't do all of them, but I was glad that I got invited and had the opportunity to come down there in the first place. So when you was talking NFL football, what's your favorite team and why? Probably the Dolphins, okay. because I don't really know a lot about NFL mm -hmm. and they're probably the biggest team that I probably know about because my auntie lives in Miami as well. Okay. So I got to back them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how did you, so your aunt and them, when you go to Miami, are they big Dolphin fans there? Yeah, well, like, last time I went there, there was a big, there was a big fan base down there. Like, but I'm not too sure how it is now. Cause mm -hmm. I ain't been, I ain't been in America for years, so I don't know if it's the same down there. But at the time when I went down there, it was popping off. Mm -hmm. So, so have you ever been to an NFL game here? I actually worked at one. Oh, okay. I worked at the first one. Mm -hmm. I, I think it was Cleveland, and I can't remember who they played. But that was just an amazing event, like, and you look got the cheerleaders. You get me? Obviously, we need that in football because our, we don't even have a halftime show. You get me? But mm -hmm. if we had some cheerleaders up in the place, yo things will be popping here's that so what do you see as a uh, in american sports that they can take from american sports and use in british sport i think i think the halftime show okay. because it because obviously at halftime it goes a bit flat in it because halftime the crowd are waiting for everyone to come out but yeah. then that will kind of keep the atmosphere going in the ground mm -hmm. so when the players come out you're already up for it because without a halftime show it would die out in it so mm -hmm. i think we could take the halftime show from you lot still man. what about the the case of where america has so many commercials in their sports mm -hmm. Nah, I'm a man where I don't like the commercial thing. Like, I'd rather have it on a, on a, on a channel where there's no, there's no interruption. It's just straight through. Like, kind of like the WWE when they got pay-per-view. Mm -hmm. In England, when they got pay-per-view on WWE, it's just straight through. There's no breaks and whatnot. So I prefer it like that, to be honest. Many years ago, when, matter of fact, when they first, that first NFL game they had here, New York Giants, Miami Dolphins, it rained. They tore the field up. Mm -hmm. England had to play against one of those smaller countries yeah. and got beat. Yeah. I mean, so what do you see as far as them, uh, you know, like Tottenham is going to have mm -hmm. an NFL team playing at their stadium eventually? Well, me as an Arsenal fan, I'm hoping yeah. that they get mashed up down there, you okay. understand? And I'm hoping that the NFL can come down there, mash up the pitch even more, you know what I mean? Like, put holes in there, mash up the everything, like, because mm -hmm. I hope it does make a difference because the way the NFL man play, they're on the ground, innit? So, mm -hmm. the, so obviously the turf gets dealt with a lot, innit? And hopefully the groundsman's not in his job this year and it does go wrongly for Spurs. Well, you're talking about like the Spurs, man, and, and, and Arsenal. What What is the happening in the offseason with Arsenal? At the moment, like, the manager's actually doing a decent job. Okay. He's actually gone out. He's got us a good left back, Kolazan, um, Kolazanak. We've got a uh, top striker in now, Lacazette. We just need a few more signings, a few more additions, and then I think we can actually compete for the league this year. I mean, many years ago, I was going to Arsenal game. I was with Danny Fisman. Okay. And I said to him, I mean, do you have a, a, a psychologist on your team? And he said to me, yeah, we do. Arsene Wenger is our psychologist. Is Arsene Wenger doing a good enough job as far as you're concerned, as far as what the results Arsenal gets? In recent years, I have to admit that I have wanted him to go. Okay. Like, I've pulled out banners in the ground and whatnot, protest and whatnot. But I said that I'd do that until he signs a new deal. So he signed a new deal, so he's not going nowhere. We're going to have to get behind the man. And he started this transfer window a bit different. Normally, we, we dilly-dally and then we make moves at the end of the transfer window. This time, he's actually gone out there. He's got Kalazanak. He's got Lacazette. He's trying to get more in. So maybe he has changed his ways for the good. But I do want him out. I can't lie. So Arsenal do or die? Arsenal till I die, man. Arsenal till the death of me. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be in Emirates on crutches, fam. Okay. That's how much it means to me. Like I'm not missing the game because of this. I'll still be there week in, week out. All right, my man.